The story begins with a girl named Tessa who is starting college. Tessa's mom, Carol, and her boyfriend, Noah, help her move in. Tessa will stay in a dorm with her new friends, Steph and Tristan. Carol doesn't like Tessa's roommates and complains to the college about it. She's worried about the smell of marijuana in the room and thinks Tessa might be influenced badly. Tessa tells her not to worry and promises she won't get involved in anything bad. After some arguing, Carol agrees to trust Tessa. Once Tessa is on her own, she meets Landon, who becomes her classmate. One night, Tessa finds a guy named Harden in her room after she's taken a shower. She feels uncomfortable because she's not dressed, but Harden doesn't leave when she asks. Steph shows up and explains that Harden is there to take them to a party, but Tessa declines the invitation and stays in her room. The next day, Tessa is studying in the library when she notices Harden looking at her. Steph tries to convince Tessa to go to the party again, but Tessa says no. Despite Tessa's refusal, Steph insists she come along. At the party, everyone is drinking and having fun. Tessa feels out of place because she's not used to this kind of environment. Before leaving, they play a game of truth or dare. Because Tessa was new to their group, she picked truth when it was her turn in the game. She was asked about the wildest place she had hooked up with someone. Tessa didn't want to answer, so she skipped it. Then, Harden challenged her to kiss him, but Tessa decided to leave the game instead. She wandered around the house, which had turned into a party venue, until she found a room filled with romance novels. Harden showed up and asked her what she was doing there. Tessa learned it was Harden's room. He tried to kiss her, but she left, saying she couldn't do it. The next day, Tessa joined an English literature class and met Landon. Harden was also there. When the professor asked a question about romance books, both Harden and Tessa raised their hands. Harden said love was just a fantasy or a deal where people try to show desirable traits they can turn on and off. Tessa disagreed with him. After class, Harden told Tessa he enjoyed their debate. His plan to get her attention had worked because Tessa couldn't stop talking about him to Landon. Tessa was surprised when Landon revealed that he was Harden's half-brother. Harden's dad was the college chancellor and was going to marry Landon's mom soon. The next night, when the innocent girl saw her roommate Steph and Tristan having fun in the next bed, Tessa could only turn her face away. The next day, Tessa went to the cafe and ordered coffee. There, she saw Harden again. He approached Tessa and said Harden wanted to start over and be friends with Tessa. Tessa seemed to be drawn in by Harden's good looks and friendly attitude, which always made Tessa's heart beat fast. So, Tessa agreed when Harden invited her to go somewhere. They drove a few miles away and arrived at a forest. Apparently, Harden took Tessa to a lake, which was his favorite place when he wanted to be alone. Suddenly, Harden took off his shirt and invited Tessa to swim. The innocent Tessa asked Harden to turn around because she wanted to take off her clothes. When they were swimming, Harden said they couldn't just be friends and that they were meant to be more. A few moments later, they kissed and got carried away until they finished swimming. Harden began to try to seduce and touch Tessa. Harden realized that Tessa was still a virgin and stopped touching her because he was afraid she might feel uncomfortable. But Tessa asked why Harden stopped touching her body. Harden said they still had plenty of time and asked Tessa to think again about giving up her virginity. Tessa smiled because she thought Harden liked her, not just because of lust. Then, the couple went to the bar, and Tessa wanted to get to know Harden better. But the moment was interrupted by Steph and other friends. A woman named Molly seemed very eager to get close to Harden, and there seemed to be something between the two of them. After that, Harden's mood changes, and he asks Tessa to go home, feeling sad that Tessa left. In the morning, Tessa dreams of Harden sitting next to her, but it's just a dream. That same morning, when Tessa is going to class, she sees Noah with flowers, already waiting in front of the dormitory. In the evening, when Molly is with Harden, Tessa notices that he continues to pay attention to her. Eventually, Molly arranges a plan to play a game. When it's Tessa's turn, a man named Jace tries to kiss her forcefully, even though she doesn't have a lover. Harden gets annoyed and hits Jace, then leaves the party. Long story short, when Tessa and Noah are at the dorm, Tessa gets a call from Landon saying that Harden has gone on a rampage at their house and mentioned something about Tessa. Tessa is worried and chooses to meet Harden, leaving Noah who is already asleep. When she arrives at Landon's house, 
she rushes to meet Harden, who seems surprised to see her. Tessa explains that she was worried about him. She learns that Harden is upset because his father abandoned his mother. He breaks a glass in anger, and Tessa gets injured while trying to pick it up. Harden then takes Tessa to his room and apologizes for his previous behavior. He explains that he's a mess right now. Tessa also feels the same way. Her feelings are all over the place because she's fallen in love with Harden. The two of them start sharing romantic moments, and Tessa ends up sleeping in Harden's room for the night. When Tessa wakes up, Noah calls her seven times to find out where she was last night. Tessa says she stayed at a friend's house to help them with problems. But suddenly, Harden shows up and Noah gets angry, thinking Tessa was cheating on him. Tessa tries to explain, but Noah leaves upset. Tessa goes back to her dorm feeling really sad and tells Harden to leave. Steph sees Tessa looking sad and asks what's wrong. Tessa explains she lost her boyfriend and best friend, Noah. But Tessa starts feeling better soon. She meets Harden and tells him about how her dad left her when she was 10, and Noah always comforted her since then. Harden tells Tessa the breakup wasn't her fault. Tessa talks about her mixed feelings for Noah. She always saw him as her best friend but now feels more for Harden. They decide to date and do lots of fun things together like reading romantic books and goofing around in the library. One day, Tessa's mom catches them together in her dorm and gets angry. She tells Tessa to break up with Harden. Tessa thought Harden might not be good for her, but she argued that she always did what her mom wanted. But now she wants to find her own happiness. Her mom was disappointed. Later, Landon warned Tessa to be cautious of Harden because he was complex. Harden surprised Tessa by taking her to an apartment owned by his dad's friend who now lives in Italy. He suggested she stay there since her mom stopped sending money. Touched by his gesture, Tessa agreed. They lived happily together, and Tessa remained devoted to Harden. At his father's wedding, they danced and decided to leave early due to their passion. That night, Tessa decided to have sex with Harden, whom she deeply loved. Their days were blissful until Tessa received a private message from Molly on Harden's phone. Upset, she confronted Harden, who claimed it was a prank and asked for trust. Harden never returned home that night and Tessa received a message from Jace to meet at a bar to learn the truth about Harden. The girl went because she was curious, but there were only Molly, St, and one other male friend. Then Stephanie asked about Tessa's recent news. The girl explained that Tessa was now living with Harden in an apartment. Molly felt jealous when she heard that and said they were too serious. Suddenly, Jake and Harden arrived. Molly said that Harden approached Tessa because of a game they used to play truth or dare. Harden looked surprised and asked Molly to stop talking. But Molly showed a video on her phone where Harden said he wanted to make out with Tessa, and after that, he would leave her. Tessa was shocked to know that all this time, Steph and her friends were playing tricks on her. Harden tried to explain that it was before he knew Tessa. But now, after spending time with her, he really fell in love with her. However, it was too late. Tessa was very hurt and left even though it was raining heavily that night. Not only Tessa, but Harden also felt devastated to lose the woman he loved. Days passed, and Tessa felt the loneliest she had ever felt. Finally, Tessa decided to go back to her mother's house and repair their relationship. But Tessa didn't tell her mother about the incident that broke her heart. The girl felt very sorry and wanted to say sorry to the child and mother. Finally, the child and mother showed they loved each other again. Tessa met Noah and said sorry. Noah understood he and Tessa couldn't be in love. Then, Tessa went back to university. She started sending emails to change her major from economics to English. On the other hand, Harden still feels mixed up about his feelings. Harden always remembers the good times with Tessa. One day after class, the teacher gave Tessa an envelope. The teacher said it was Harden's paper. But it turns out, Harden wrote the paper for Tessa not for the teacher. Tessa opened the envelope. Inside, there was a photo of the lake where Harden and Tessa first felt love, and a picture of Tessa. Tessa also read Harden's papers on love stories. Harden used to think love was just make-believe, but meeting Tessa changed his mind. It's like Harden got lost in his own words on the paper. Harden wrote that if someone asked who he loved most in the world, it's Tessa. The movie ends with Tessa sitting by the lake. Harden comes to sit next to her. They look at each other, and the movie ends. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you in the next one.